Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Missing Those Lego Robotics. Today's video, I'm going to introduce you to this claw. And actually, it's the same claw that was in yesterday's Robot Arm of Fortune. What I want to do in this video is show you how to build it. I'm going to show you how to put it on a robot and actually show you how it can be very beneficial to those of you that do first Lego League. So if you want to see that, stay with me. And after watching this video, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Come on, I know you can do it. Okay guys, so I really, really like this claw. What's so amazing about it is it's so easy to build and it's so functional. And it was just one of those things where I'm like, yes, I have to be able to know how to make this. So today I'm gonna to show you how to build it. And I'm gonna even go a step further. I've memorized how to build this. And I would highly suggest that you guys start to learn how to memorize building things. Because you never know when you're gonna get caught in a situation where you don't have instructions, you don't have a phone or computer to look it up, and you're just in a situation where you're like, I have to be able to have something to grab something with, like this claw, and just be able to pull it out from memory. So that's just something that Mr. Hino's throwing out in case you know you need something to do. But what today I wanna to do is show you step-by-step step how to build this. I'm gonna show you how to attach it. I have my um, educator bot here that I'm gonna put it on. In fact, it's already on another motor, which allows me now to grab something and then lift it up or down. And then I'm gonna just do a demonstration of a first Lego League type mission where you can use this cool looking claw. So let's go ahead and start first with the build. So if you're one of those people that likes to get all of the parts and pieces before you start to build, let's go ahead and take a look at what you're going to need. You're going to need two of these long blue connectors. You're going to need two of these gray pieces. This black T. Two of these gray curved beams. This is going to be, that's a nine. Uh, two of the short nails. I call these the Batman pieces. I don't know why. It looks like a bat. Two of the Batman pieces, two red connectors, one tan connector, two threes, two of these dark gray gears, a worm gear, this black, or sorry, gray sleeve, two small connectors, and then your medium motor. You know, obviously you're going to need your cable for this motor, but that's it. So let's go ahead and go to the build. Okay guys, let's get building. Let's grab that nine beam and we're going to put them through the end of the beam like that. Okay. We're then gonna grab the Batman pieces and we're gonna put them onto both ends of the blue connectors like that. The next thing is we're gonna need those two nail pieces, the small nails, the two gray pieces, and this black T. And here is where Mr. Hino has his struggles, so just bear with me. What we wanna do is sandwich this gray piece in the middle of the Batman piece. And then we're going to put the nail And try to push it all the way through. Hey, not too bad. So it looks like that. And then we're just going to do the same thing to the other side. Let's see if I can have just as good as luck doing this. Hey, that's not too bad. Sorry, I don't mean to pat myself on the back, but I'm just not, not the greatest at threading it like that. So, okay. Now we're going to grab this tan connector and put it right there in the middle. We're now going to grab your medium motor. We're going to put this blue connector, whoops, sorry, wrong side, like so. We're going to put this sleeve right on 
over it. We're then going to grab the other blue connector and put it like that. And then we're going to put the worm gear on like that. And then let's flip this around. And now notice the beam is going to go through here like that. We're going to put the tan connector right there into the worm gear. Now to keep this all together, we're going to put the red connector. Let's see, I've got to just wiggle this around. You guys ever have connector issues where they just don't seem to want to go through? Okay, there we go. So we've locked that into place now. Okay, we're almost home. Don't you love it when you don't see that many pieces left? You're like, yes. Okay, so the next thing is, is we're going to put the three through like that. We're going to put this up like that. And then we're just going to slide on these gray gears. Like that. And we are done. And then, you know, you're going to go ahead and put your cable through there, but that's it. That's how fast and easy this claw is. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and show you how I'm going to attach this to my educator bot and we can do some cool missions with it. Okay, so here's my educator bot. I'm just going to go ahead and grab my claw. This is a nine here, but you could use a 10 or a 12, doesn't really matter. And there's my cable. I'm gonna attach it right there. All I have to do now is I have this on my robot now. So what's cool is I can I can use this other media motor here to lower this. And now I have the claw to be able to grab something and lift it up and, you know, place it somewhere. And then I'll show you in a second what to do if you want to grab something that's maybe a little more awkward. Maybe you need something to grab it that's bigger than this. I'll show you in a second how we can make it bigger so we can grab something maybe like a ball. So if you wanted to grab something, um, you know, if you can see right here where it's only going to be grabbing it with these curved beams here. But if you wanted to, I'm not going to do this. I'll let you figure it out for yourselves. But instead of using a three axle, you could use a bigger axle where the axle would come up here and then just attach another set of curved beams. So now you have four claws that would grab something rather than just two. But now let's go ahead and try to do a mission with this robot. Okay, let's utilize this claw for an FLL type mission. We're going to call this the drop the coin into the arcade game mission. We're going to go ahead and have the robot travel to the picture frame setup, drop the gray gear into there like a quarter or coin, and head back to base. So let's check that out. Oh, that's a hideous squeak, but we got the mission done. So that claw, very cool. Let's go ahead now and use the claw to pick up something. Okay, this mission is going to be called Retrieve the Coin, where there's a coin already in the machine, and this robot's going to go over there and retrieve it. Mm. 
Nice. Okay, guys, so there you have it. The claw attachment where I just think it's super cool. I just think it's satisfying to watch it just open and close really slow. And its grip is so strong. I mean, it's so cool. You know, these motors right there and with the gear to just clamp onto something and it just holds it so tight. So it's just super cool. And then it's a neat attachment for those of you that do first Lego League to just be able to, you know, there's some missions where they want you to grab something. And you know, if you wanted to lift it up and drop it, then you have this other medium motor that's cool too. So it's just one of those cool things where it's just, um, I love the fact that there's two medium motors here so I can do two actions. I can lower and raise and I can also grab something and let go. So it is just very cool, you guys, okay? So hopefully you liked it. Hopefully my, my building instructions were clear and hopefully I didn't just take too long. Okay, guys, I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey, guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay, guys, take care.